Hi, I'm Sam Ferguson, and this is my first YouTube post. I'm going to talk about the Yorkshire Post newspaper problem of the Yellow Brick Road. Okay, this is the Yorkshire Post problem of the Yellow Brick Road, posed around Christmas time for the amusement of their readers. So it's kind of a puzzler for people who like to uh, think about problems that are, uh, I don't know, a little bit difficult. So the problem runs as follows. A person stuck at an outlying town called Ba, and the principality of Oz is way up here. And the nice thing is that there's a train that goes straight from Ba to Oz. And say, halfway in between, there's a train station. So these are the same distances from here to here and from here to here. The only trouble is that the railway men are on strike. So our poor passenger, instead of going straight to Oz by train, has to take a road, the Yellow Brick Road, to get to Oz. Now the bus that goes on the Yellow Brick Road, it doesn't go in a straight line. It goes to the outlying village of Poo. I may have gotten these mixed up. And then it takes a right angle turn to the station. Then it immediately leaves off again to another outlying village. turns through a right angle, and goes to Oz. And the simple thing about the problem is, all of these lengths here, 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 are whole numbers of miles long. And the wizard says that these distances are the shortest that make all of these conditions true. And that's the basic setup for this kind of problem. So these lengths here, if I called them A, B, and C, the Pythagorean theorem tells us that a squared plus b squared is c squared. And these three links here, well, this one's the same length as that one, so it's also going to be c. And I can call these maybe f and g, skipping a few letters in the alphabet. Then c squared is f squared plus g squared. And the important thing is that these are all integers. So these are special numbers. This is a special number C that can be written in two different ways as a sum of two squares. And we also require, I didn't mention this before, that all these numbers A, B, F, and G, they're all different. So what's the smallest C that makes all of this work? It's not clear. Are there any numbers you can think of that can be written as a sum of two squares in two different ways that are themselves squares? It's not obvious. 50 is a number that can be written as a sum of two squares in two different ways. But it isn't itself a square, so it can't, the square root of 50 can't be our C. It has to be a whole number. And so, what you could do to solve this problem is you could just uh, trial and error. Try looking at, say, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, but it can't be written as a sum of squares in two different ways. So it doesn't work. You could try looking at 10 squared is 8 squared plus 6 squared, and it still doesn't work. 5 squared plus 12 squared is 13 squared, it still doesn't work. And so by trial and error, you can eventually arrive at 25 squared, which is just, you multiply all these bases by 5. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 5 is 20. And it turns out that 25 squared can actually be written as 7 squared plus 24 squared. I didn't know that until I checked it on my calculator. So this turns out to be the shortest number that will work for this C.
So I could call this 7, 24, 15, and 20. And the question is, what is the length of the yellow brick road? It's just going to be the sum of these four numbers here. So the length of the yellow brick road is 7, 24, 20, 15. Add them all up. We get uh, 31 here, 35 here, total of 66 miles. Now that solves that simple problem. But what I didn't tell you is that actually the Yorkshire Post didn't quite give this problem. In their problem, it's not just these two links that have to be equal. There are 39 stations in the Yorkshire Post problem. Otherwise, it's exactly the same. Different links, whole numbers, whole numbers, equal. So there's 40 times C is equal to the rail length, the length of the railroad, the straight line. And the length of the yellow brick road is going to be a sum of 80 different mile stretches. And so you have to find the smallest number C whose square can be written as a sum of two squares, positive squares. in 40 different ways. And that's the 1976 Christmas problem from the Yorkshire Post of the Yellow Brick Road. Thank you for watching.